by Zaki Road. Okay, so today I'm doing some braids and I'm doing um 27 and 350 mixed together. And that's pretty much it. I don't really know how many braids, what size, what we're doing, but I'm just doing braids. So see you as we do them. I'll start with the back. I'll give you guys a video of that and then I'll stop. I'll braid up the rest and then I'll show you guys the front where you can actually see what I'm doing. And now we're doing the last row. Thank the Lord, because I was really starting to get like kind of over it. If I have daughters, they're going to be so good because. I know how to do my hair decent, so I should be able to do their hair bomb. Because I feel like it's harder to do your own hair than like somebody else's. But then again, people's head shapes be different sometimes and that can be a challenge within itself of how to frame their head kind of with the style you're giving them. But yeah, I start with putting some of this jam on my roots just to moisturize and kind of get the hair all going in one direction kind of good. And then I took a piece of my hair. Earlier I had them separated out, um, but because I'm in the last couple braids, I'm just pulling it from the bunch. So yeah, separate some hair, put the bunch back down. Then I start my braid, separate it into three, and I cross it once or twice. Then I pull this hair up, and I tuck it with one piece of my hair with another piece of my hair, and then I kind of just braid it. And then once I get a couple of stitches or whatever you call it, I pull some of the hair from the 
other braid, I guess, the other piece, so that there's three long pieces instead of two long pieces in my short piece. And then I just use the jam to keep blending my hair in and braiding down. So as I was doing this, I noticed that it would look better if I learned how to add the hair in. So what I mean by that is like, if I start with like a little bit of hair, like a smaller piece of this hair, and then braid, 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 and then add another piece of this hair so that it can kind of go from skinny to thicker at the roots. Right now it just goes from like my roots being super skinny to like the braid being kind of thick. It doesn't look bad because you can't really see it, but that could be, that's a room for improvement right there. And then you just braid it down. Almost to the end, y'all. And I've been getting lazier towards the end, so once I get to this point, I just kind of put them all together, like pull it together, and then I just put some of the jam on there. Because it's not super sticky, but it does help kind of pull it together. Once I dip it, it should be fine. So I'm going to do that again. This one's kind of big, but... Like I said, I'm getting over it. So, that one will be a little bit. <laughs> and I've also noticed like, even on the ones that I'm like, damn, that's a big piece. Once I braid it, it's actually not that big, so it's fine. Same thing, we got the jam on the roots, three pieces, start the braid, pull the hair up, tuck it between one, tuck it between another, braid it. I'm not gonna lie, is braiding hard? No. Did it take me a while to learn and get this good? Honestly, yeah. It took me a minute to be able to braid my own hair and be able to like add the hair in the way I'm doing it. Um, and then like at some point I stopped wearing braids for a little bit and I was doing weaves, like wearing weaves. So I was getting it done because I don't know how to do weaves. And so I kind of <clears throat> lost some of my braid abilities and I had to go back to doing like the rubber band method, which isn't really, it's not a big deal like the rubber band method is no worse than any other method it's a good method and um yeah from there i had to go back to doing the rubber band ma method and then today when i started doing my braids or yesterday i started yesterday and i continued the video today but when i continued to do my braids um what's it called i was like i didn't want to do rubber bands today and so when i started them and i did, was doing knotless i was like thinking I'm not really going to be good at adding the hair in, but turns out I'm actually not too bad at adding the hair in. So next time I do it, I could probably do it with even more technique and a little bit, like make it look even better, basically. last one and go put the water on so we could dip it so i'll be right back okay you guys so we have officially dipped the hair this is what it's looking like this is what it's giving
So this is the hair. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, follow, don't talk to about everything for your opinion. Um, I hope you guys learned something or feel like you accomplished something by watching this video. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe for real. Love you all. See you never.